Jai Krute, welcome back to my third video in the series Experiences with Paramahansa Shri Swami Vishwananda. Um, I have uh, told until now how I met Guruji and the experience he gave me in uh, Kumbha Mela uh, 2015. Now I would like to tell you another amazing experience I had in 2016. Uh, in 2016, February, it was Shivaratri. Shivaratri, as you know, probably it's an amazing, amazing uh, festival in which the energy is very, very powerful. Um, usually during this day, uh, there are amazing experiences that are taking place in the body itself of our avatars when you know an avatar an avatar is a divine incarnation so there are special special experiences going on that day uh, in which the energy is very high and in which some special gurus are manifesting materializing objects giving special messages so guruji paramahamsa shi swami vishwananda is one of such incarnations of course for us he's the ultimate i will come in details on this later he is a very very special incarnation and um, i was in the ashram in 2016 uh, to meet him uh, for this special event at that moment and i witnessed what was going on in his body he gave me this grace to see um, the power the amazing strong energy that was bubbling into him uh, we had an initiation of another swamini that day so um, Somehow I found myself being quite um, active that day. You know, it's Guruji's Leelas. Some moments we, you are not very active, in other moments you are, you know, everything changes. So we always have to be attentive, pay attention to what is going on. Um, I choose, now I, I'm in the, in the ashram, in ashram in Gujarat, so I'm in a very special place, Jiva Samadhi of a yogi here, a saint here, I'm linked to the energy of Shiva, so I'm happy to talk about Shivaratri in this place and I choose this powerful um, place and moment to tell this experience. So that day we were doing ceremonies for this initiation and Guruji was present um, for all the events and at the same time he was having this process going on in himself to materialize lingams so every shivaratri he is materializing several lingams and several things um, i ask you to be very careful when you listen to this and not to go in any judgment which would produce some bad karma in you but you know some special avatars are manifesting um, different you know abilities which are to be taken seriously especially when you know the gurus in several years so i i tell you this because normally we are not disclosing such things but because this year is special and the shivati will be very powerful this year so i also disclosing some mystical experiences and i will do it i will make close groups in which I will talk about this and openly as well when it's needed because humanity has to know uh, what is going on in, um, in Hinduism, you know, in the sacred, powerful uh, places and people in special incarnations. So Guruji uh, materialized uh, around 16 lingams that day and he asked me to be close at one moment saying that if he needs uh, uh, tissues, he gave me a uh, very nice um, tissue with um, a nice embroidery saying that if he needs it I have to ha to, um, uh, to give him and we were waiting uh, for all the um, on our 
Swami needs to come and gather so that uh, we can, uh, Guruji can give the blessing and bless the Danda, the special stick of the initiation. So we were together in a temple, in the temple when Guruji manifested a very big lingam. And on this lingam, it was the third eye of Shiva, which was um, drawn on it. Uh, which is amazing because you see in my journey what I see you know is that Shiva is playing Krishna and Krishna is playing Sh Shiva and actually uh, I have another guru as well who for me is Brahma you know <laughs> even if he doesn't understand that I because he wants to be very you know it's a very simple person humble uh, I know, I know what I'm talking about because I'm near incarnation since years and near special yogis in India. I witnessed since more than seven years all kinds of big, big, special, special stories. So, uh, uh, Guruji <laughs> showed me that linga because knowing that I'm, I'm coming, you know, from Shiva. Uh, and from Shiva is what I was saying in my first video uh, in this series of experiences that I was in Shiva's for many many years so he was showing me this you know like smiling in his lila and I was thinking wow that is for sure a lingam that he will give me and uh, there is a moment when Guruji is giving these lingams which are coming for special purposes they're coming like help for some people some people receive some special lingams for their problems and the Guruji is instructing them how to use them and he knows exactly he will just say this lingam is for that lady for the lady dressed in green who has that cancer or something and you know if the person doesn't dare to come and take it he will give him later but he knows everything so this is another video talking about the only science of the guru i in my second video i talked about this and i'm repeating it now so really he knows everything and he gets special messages for everyone um, so yeah, I'm, I'm coming to the moment when I said that he is giving this to people and uh, that day, you know, after the whole night of Shivarati, which was intense, um, I felt to go and lie down. Suddenly I had a trance in state and I said I will go and lie down for five minutes and then I'm coming back and actually I went into deep meditation and I uh, came out of this meditation when uh, when the event was finished and many people received some lingams and some of my sisters got uh, very nice lingams that are they are blessing uh, you know, since years now so that was 2016 now since four years the blessings with the lingam are going on in our tradition as well and um, because this is the Shakti of the Guru and it's I mean the Guru himself because this is coming from him from inside, you know, it is himself fully. So he's giving us himself fully to help people and bless them. Um, so um, that that evening I didn't get my lingam. So I was thinking, wow, I think I'm not up to the, you know, qualities to get a lingam. Or maybe I'm not detached to what practices I was doing before, puja. So I will wait for a while. And this was in February, and um, I had to wait until April. April, I came back in the ashram to meet Guruji. I was my first tours after the initiation started, so I was planning a big tour in India, and I had different questions to ask Guruji. And again, Guruji was knowing exactly we had a meal, and I was almost not eating, and Guruji looked at me and said, eat. And uh, he was knowing that after, by again, by another Leela, uh, I had to bring a person to give him a gift and then he asked me to come and to sit at his feet. And I was at his feet for half an hour. I'm talking about this event in my, uh, and briefly in my first uh, part of my autobiography. It is uh, just the, f the first file, it's coming in ebook. I will give you the link down if you want to buy it. Uh, to know how I discovered Hinduism, um, how I came from Romania to France and then from France to India and my first experiences in brief, so I'm talking about three ex major experiences in my life that I will detail in the book, in the final book, so the autobiography will be big, so I'm, I'm um, making it uh, simple for people so I'm making it by pieces so the first piece is about this and I'm talking I'm giving a paragraph there saying 
how I was at Guruji's feet for 30 minutes and that was an amazing powerful experience that is the most amazing and powerful experiences i ever had and it was the first step he was preparing me for whatever i did after all the tours i don't know if you follow me but since five years i'm traveling continuously i'm doing programs continuously and this is his grace this is the energy he is awakening in me he keeps he keeps nourishing this fire uh, for wanting to bring him to people, bring the love to people. And uh, of course, when we are servants of the divine, as we are in the Vaishnava Sampradaya, uh, we uh, only want to serve and be amazing instruments for his, for his work. So coming back to, to the moment when I was at his feet, um, I will just tell you the part with the lingam, because we talk about this, I will make another video uh, detailing this event because this is really amazing and it will make you understand the relationship with the Guru, the Guru Shisha relationship and what happens at the feet of the Guru. Uh, I will spend some time on it but now let's come to the Lingam. I ask Guruji, Guruji, among other questions, I, I ask Guruji, should I have a Lingam? He looked at me and said, do you want one? I said, Guruji, I don't really want one but I know that several sisters got it and other swamis have it from, you know, previous senior swamis. So I was thinking that maybe we need to have one for our work. And Guruji said, yes, I have one for you. And uh, I got it. This, how I got it, I will again make another video <laughs> because it's, I want you to, to really, you know, feel my joy and uh, the amazement I had, you know, step by step. Anyway, um, you know, I looked at him, I said, okay, when I will get one, how I will use it? And Guruji looked at me straight and he said, you look into your heart and I will answer you there. And you know, Guruji rarely says this, you know, uh, he always says, you have a living Guru, go and see the living Guru. Don't start imagining, fantasizing, yes, my Guru told me this, my Guru told me that. You know, these kind of people who are telling you, yeah, Guruji said this, so everyone please know that Guruji told me this, and uh, they, they pretend having had a conversation. And when you go to see Guruji, says, no, 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 this is not the truth, just tell the person to come to me. So I was surprised to hear Guruji saying, look into your heart and I will answer you there. So I was so confused looking at him. And uh, he said, okay, give me your hand. And I was thinking, wow, he will give me some vibhuti because he feels maybe I will go in a sort of depression, not understanding what he says. And he gave me a ring and he said, this is your phone with me. I don't have the ring anymore, it disappeared. <laughs> so just before coming to my tour, I had different objects in my, in my house disappearing. And that was also part of what disappeared. Uh, uh, yeah, this is another you know, experience. I tell you, every day I'm experiencing something. Every day when you live in the presence, uh, you know, and in connection with your guru, you know, you are in a magical, life every day something is going on something is happening so uh, he told, gave me that ring at that moment i needed it and he said look this is your phone with me <laughs> and i was more confused you know because thinking okay guruji i know you will talk to me inside i know maybe you will talk through this ring but how i will be able to listen to you how i'll be able to to know what you're saying and, but of course, I didn't dare to ask more questions because already I was so blessed. And um, I, was, it was, I was in such an amazing state, you know. Um, Guruji was showing me his, his shoes. These shoes are in the museum. And he said, look, uh, the, these shoes, I have them since 12 years. So I was, again, not knowing what to do, to kiss the shoes, to touch the shoes, you know, it was such an amazing moment. And then at one, um, yes, then finally I had to stand. And when I stood uh, up, you know, I entered into a very special state, you know, I was feeling I am in a bubble of protection. I was, my body was light and I was not understanding what people were talking near me. I was in a, really in a trance, you know, but this time I was having my eyes open. I was not lying down in my room. 
missing events, but I was, you know, walking, like flying, and I, I was in a, you know, in a second, like I would say, uh, you know, uh, these trans moments in which you are like beyond time and space and, and yeah, something very spiritual. And at that moment I understood the power of the Guru's feet. If you surrender to your Guru's feet, you really get energized in this way, you know. So take that in a serious way, you know. The Indian tradition is talking about the feet of the Guru and the power, the energy that are coming is coming from the feet and not only from the Guru, but the parents, you know. We are honoring the feet as being a center of energy, of being a center of blessing. And I can tell you, you know, I followed many, many gurus since years, like in different subjects, yoga guru, music guru, this guru, that guru, uh, my parents as well. But, you know, I never understood until then what is to be at someone's feet. I thank Guruji so much for revealing that to me, for giving me that experience. And uh, this is, you know, this is what is amazing. When you when you reach home, everything becomes so easy, you know. And uh, in the same way, you know, I I understood how it functions, how his process is functioning, you know. Because after I I found him inside, and he started to talk to me inside. But I am verifying that with him. So I'm telling you all who are listening to this, saying this. Don't think it's so easy to get, you know, communication. Get your sources verified, your messages verified. Guruji is there, available in Darshan. Go and ask him, Guruji, I had this dream, I saw this, I saw that. He is a living master. If you are going to him sincerely, he will know it in advance and he will come to you and he will talk to you and he will immediately even reveal you know, whatever you had dream or something, he will confirm that. So please do not go into fantasizing. It is very, very important to have a pure, direct connection with the Guru and understand these magical things. Okay, so this is for now, Jai Guru Dev, and I'm making a second um, uh, video on this subject of the Lingam in some minutes. Jai Guru Dev.